the ability to save Microsoft whiteboards as files in Microsoft OneDrive is now here. Through connected experiences, we can enable this feature so that now our whiteboards are saved in OneDrive and we can do all sorts of great things. We can create folders with whiteboards in them. We can share them with others through OneDrive. We can even automate actions on them. Let's go have a look. I can now set up my whiteboard environment so that all of my whiteboards are saved to my OneDrive. Notice it has the whiteboard extension when I save it. So this is my OneDrive and you can see that I've got whiteboards here. This gives me a huge amount of additional functionality. So if I go into one of my whiteboards, look at all the things that I can do. I can move them around, I can rename them, I can even create automated actions based upon those whiteboards. So this is pretty exciting. Now, if I go into my application, my whiteboard application, I can go in and see all the different whiteboards that I have. It will not go back and save older whiteboards. So if I go in and I grab an older whiteboard that I may have here, I have a whiteboard that I've created some time ago. We'll go ahead and give it a name. So we'll give it a name such as old whiteboard. And if I go in and put that name in there, that will not be saved to the OneDrive. There's no function here for me to go through and actually save it to that location. It's happening in the background. So if I go to my OneDrive now, so we'll just pop into my OneDrive, you'll notice that that old whiteboard does not appear. Even if I hit refresh, you'll see that it doesn't capture that old whiteboard or anything that I've done there. But if I go to the application and create a new whiteboard, once I've set it up to save to OneDrive, if I go to create a new whiteboard, and we'll give this whiteboard a name, let's go ahead and put a object on there. So we'll put a retrospective on there and I'll just make it my own draw circle. And I'm gonna give this a name. So we're gonna call this, save this whiteboard. This one here will, because I've set up saving to OneDrive, it will automatically save. So now when I go to OneDrive, it'll be saved. This whiteboard will pop up. There it is. So now I have saved this whiteboard. I can also initiate opening whiteboards from OneDrive. So for example, if I go into new name for types, I can click on that and that will open up that whiteboard. It will open it up in the web app. There's no way to direct it from OneDrive to open it up in the application or the Teams version. It opens up in the web version. And I have another video on this channel where I talk about how the Microsoft Whiteboard web version is really going to be your preferred version at this point in time because the Teams version has some issues and the application version has some issues that hopefully will get resolved. But for now, working with the web interface gives me the most functionality. So if you go in here, you can see I've opened up this whiteboard. I'm all happy. I can make changes to it. And when I make that change, I can certainly go back to my application version of whiteboard. I can go in and you can see that save this whiteboard is here, the one that I most recently worked on. I can go in there and in the application, I can still open and work with that whiteboard. I just cannot go in and save it as a specific whiteboard to a specific location. So the other thing that I can do with OneDrive is I can create folders. So let's take this orangey glad you watched whiteboard and we're just going to move that into the templates folder. So underneath the templates folder, you can see I have that whiteboard and I can open it up in the web interface and I can also go to my application interface and you see that I have this orangey glad you watched. When I click on that whiteboard, it brings it up. So you can see I've got the, the whiteboard here. I can go in and I can make changes to this whiteboard. So let's put in say a a circle there and a triangle there. So I've made some changes there. And then if I go back to the OneDrive here and click on that orange you glad you watched, take a few moments to launch it up, but you can see that it will open up that whiteboard and you can see that there's an interaction between the applications. So I am now saving it into my OneDrive environment. Now the question might be, hey, I, don't, I can't seem to see that, Frank. How come I don't have my files whiteboards? This was automatically created by the Microsoft when I enabled this feature. And the reason is you do need to ensure that you have connected experiences enabled. Now you'll, you will know whether you have connected experiences enabled if you go into the whiteboard. If you see a documents icon here, underneath the home page here, let's get out of here. So if you go to your, uh, underneath here, if you seek documents, that means connected experiences has been enabled, but you have to go one step further, you or your IT administrator. What you need to do is underneath your administration center for your 
environment. So whether it's your, your business or whether it's your school, you have to have somebody that has administrative access. This does not work on personal accounts. So underneath the administrative center for business or your organization, you'll go into settings and underneath settings, you'll go into organizational settings and underneath organizational settings, you're going to go down to whiteboard. And if you go down to whiteboard here, you're going to see some options for the connected experiences. You can turn on the whiteboard for everyone. There's a number of things you can do. This is where you would go in and you would put the optional connected experiences for legacy board sharing. So this is where you would go and put these in. You need to go in and make sure that you click the checkbox to enable storing new whiteboards in OneDrive and it's only gonna be the new ones. They'll be in there from that point on. The old ones will not be there, but you have to go in and put restore, uh, you know, enable storing. And now as soon as you do that, it's a policy that takes effect for your organization. And now when you go into your whiteboards here, these are being stored in your OneDrive environment. So once connected experiences is enabled and the ability to save to OneDrive checked off, it's going to be a very useful way to work with our Microsoft whiteboards. Now, if you're interested in learning more about Microsoft Whiteboard from a feature standpoint, check out my complete tutorial on Microsoft Whiteboard. Or if you're wondering which version of Microsoft Whiteboard might be the best one to use, Teams, Application, or Web, check out my video on why the web version is really the one that I recommend to everybody. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, like, comment down below if you have any comments, and share with other colleagues that might benefit from this. Thank you so much for watching.